Okay guys, now we move on to part two and part two multiple choice is waiting for you. Right, we've got four multiple choice questions in part two. Uh, whenever there is multiple choice questions, it's an important thing to read the question statement very carefully and then you can go to the options. Sometimes some of the experts, they believe just read the question statement and read the options when the audio is on. Uh, some, some people do that. But anyways, it's better to read the question statement and the options quickly as well. And if the option is long, just focus noun, verbs, adjectives and all that. Now, question number 11, Minster Park. It's all about, just imagine a park. The name of the park is Minster Park. Question number 11, Park was originally established, past tense, Park was originally established. Now, A, amenity provided by the city council, amenity means a sort of facility. You know, we say amenities, amenities include water, electricity and all that, amenity provided by the city council. So, Park was established, amenity by city council, B, Land belonging to a private house. Now that land belonged to a private house and they actually originally it established from there. And option C, shared area set up by the local community. You know sometimes there is shared area set up by the local community and all that. Now let me tell you, they will talk about all three options. But they will talk about two options negatively. And those two options are the most important ones. You have to listen for those options. What do the students do? They look for right answer. They never find it. In multiple choice, you are never going to look for the right answer. If you focus the wrong answer and eliminate the wrong answer, you will reach the right answer automatically. Okay, now the first thing is you need to see which option is being discussed. There are three options. They will talk about these three options one by one in any order. They may start from option C first, then they go to option A, then they come back to option B, right? Sometimes they speak the right answer initially and then they try to trap you. Sometimes they try to trap you initially, at the end they tell you the right answer, the right option. Anyways, we do this, okay? I'm very pleased to welcome this evening's guest speaker, Mark Logan, who's going to tell us about the recent transformation of Minster Park. Over to you, Mark. Thank you. I'm sure you're all familiar with Minster Park. It's been a feature of the city for well over a century and has been the responsibility of the city council for most of that time. What perhaps isn't so well known is the origin of the park. Unlike many public parks that started in private ownership, as the garden of a large house, for instance, Minster was some wasteland. Rich people living nearby started planting with flowers in 1892. It was unclear who actually owned the land, and this wasn't settled until 20 years later when the council took possession of it. All right, A, all of you agree? Okay, I'll play the audio. Whenever they use the word unlike, unless, that means that is a trap, okay? I'm going to play it again for you and I'll just stop where the traps come and then we'll move on. We'll do it together. I'm very pleased to welcome this evening's guest speaker, Mark Logan, who's going to tell us about the recent transformation of Minster Park. Over to you, Mark. Thank Okay, now here you got to listen carefully. When they say over to you means now the next person is important. Thank you. I'm sure you're all familiar with Minster Park. It's been a feature of the city for well over a century and has been the responsibility of the city council for most of that time has been the responsibility of city council for most of the time but originally established by city council no clear has been the responsibility of city council for most of the time so a should be eliminated you need to put a little cross at the end of a now you are left with b and c chances are 50 50 first 33 percent 
but now 50 50 do you understand i mean the question says park was originally established but they did not say that they said most of the time it was the responsibility now establishment is something different i will tell you when the answer answer comes now let's move on what perhaps isn't so well known is the origin of the park now unlike many public parks that started in private ownership as the unlike many public parks that started in private ownership b ko bhi kaat de unlike means again a trap okay in multiple choice when they use unlike and they speak exactly the same option you must cross that one okay now you cross two so automatically you are left with the right answer even if you don't focus clear yeah not a <laughs> All right, I just go on now. Now listen, please. Why C is the right answer? Garden of a large house, for instance, Minster was some wasteland. Rich people living nearby started planting with flowers. Wasteland, which people living nearby started planting with flowers. So shared area set up by the local community. Local community means people living. in the adjacent areas or people living nearby so c is the right answer clear yes. good very good let's go on question number 12 why is there a statue of it's not dan okay you know dan punjabi dan yeah like some there is a sake dan head dian head like that so why is there a statue of uh, dian gosforth in the park reason this multiple choice is a reason why there is the statue now you are not supposed to read she was a she was a she was a take it for granted option a resident who helped the lead who helped to lead a campaign now who was a resident dian gosport and by the way these words the way you read that doesn't matter you read it as dian or dan or chudel or jin or whatever that doesn't matter now option a is resident who helped to lead a campaign maybe she launched a campaign she was living there and she launched a campaign maybe to protect the park or anything option b council member responsible for giving public access council member is important right and c senior worker at the park for many years now option a resident and then campaign option b council member responsible for giving the public access and option c senior worker at the park clear now i play the audio listen carefully and then tell me the right answer you may have noticed the statue near one of the entrances it's of diane gosforth who played a key role in the history of the park once the council had become the legal owner it planned to sell the land for housing Many local people wanted it to remain a place that everyone could go to to enjoy the fresh air and natural environment. Remember, the park is in a densely populated residential area. Diane Gosforth was one of those people, and she organized petitions and demonstrations which eventually made the council change its mind about the future of the land. demonstrations petitions and all that b is council member responsible very good excellent anyone else a very good resident who help to lead a campaign koi c wala bhi hai to bata de ha class ki izzat reh jayegi okay please listen again i'm going to play it again for you most of you have been trapped you may have noticed the statue near one of the entrances it's of diane gosforth who played a key role in the history of the park once the council had become the legal owner it planned to sell the land for housing council became the legal owner they planned to sell the land for housing okay so council member responsible she was not the council member council actually acquired the land and they wanted to sell it now many local people wanted it to remain a place that everyone could go to to enjoy the fresh air and natural environment 
Remember, the park is in a densely populated residential area. Diane Gosforth was one of those people. Densely populated area and she was one of those people. Who was she? A resident. Okay, from here we understood she was a resident. And then? And she organized petitions and demonstrations. She organized petitions and dem demonstrations. That is a campaign. Petition is the part of campaign. Demonstration is the part of campaign. So A is the right answer. Which eventually made the council change its mind about the future of the land. So which the next eventually changed the mind of the council and all that. And option C, senior worker at the park, they did not even mention it. Okay, so the right answer is A. A. Exactly, very good. Now, question number 13. During the First World War, the park was mainly used. Now, look here. You will focus the word mainly. They will tell you some other uses, but those would not be the main uses. What the park was mainly used. For example, if I say this park was mainly used to play cricket, although some youngsters played football for some time and some boys played badminton, but actually... It was mainly used for cricket. Now the answer is badminton or football? Cricket. Okay, whenever, I mean in the, in the question statement, you need to focus the words. During the First World War, the park was mainly used. Now the main purpose of the park, that will be the answer. The other minor uses of the park, they will be the traps. The other two options. Okay, let's do it. Soon after this, the First World War broke out in 1914 and most of the park was dug up and planted with vegetables which were sold locally at one stage the army considered taking it over for troop exercises and got as far as contacting the city council then decided the park was too small to be of use there were occasional public meetings during the war in an area that had been retained as grass so, C, public meetings, A, exercises by troops, exactly, well done. The right answer is B, growing vegetables. And in the beginning they said mainly, I, I just repeat the audio, then they, they said army considered it but it was too small for that. Then for public meetings they said occasional public meetings, listen to it again. Soon after this, the First World War broke out in 1914 and most of the park was dug up and planted with vegetables which were sold locally. Most of the park was dug up and planted with vegetables, most of the park. So that means uh, park was mainly used for growing vegetables. Now this is the right answer. How do they talk about other options? At one stage, the army considered taking it over for troop... Army considered, only considered, right? ...troop exercises and got as far as contacting the city council, then decided the park was too small to be... Then decided the park was too small. So A is a trap, wrong answer, okay? And how C... ...of use. There were occasional public meetings during the war in an area that had been retained as grass. In an area, there have been public meetings in an area that had been and all that. So public meeting is also not the main use. Main use is only that growing vegetables. Okay, let's go on. When did the physical transformation of the park begin? And there are three dates mentioned. Okay, you just need to listen carefully and patiently. The question is, when did the physical transformation of the park begin? That, that year when they actually started. They may talk about it, plans were made in... So that plan is not the right answer because the question is, when did the physical transformation... Physical transformation means groundbreaking ceremony when they physically started the work. If they were making plans or making maps and all that, that will not be the right answer. Let's do it. After the war, the park was turned back more or less to how it had been before 1914 
and continued almost unchanged until recently. Plans for transforming it were drawn up at various times, most recently in 2013, though they were revised in 2015 before any work had started. The changes finally got going in 2016 and were finished on schedule last year. So? B. Very good. Who said B? Let's catch the thief. You said B. A. C. 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 Exactly. C is the right answer. Now I tell you why you are wrong. Please listen again. After the war, the park was turned back more or less to how it had been before 1914 and continued almost unchanged until recently. Plans for transforming it were drawn up at various times, most recently in 2013. The now, plans were drawn up most recently in 2013, only plans, right? Because the question is physical transformation. Oh, they were revised in 2015. And those plans were revised in 2015, only plans. Okay, yeah, now listen. Before any work had started. The changes finally got going in 2016. The and changes finally got going. Got going means physical transformation. And that is 2016. Is that clear? Good. All right. We have a map. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We'll do it together. You know, map, they say, I'm There are some people, when they see blood, they become unconscious. You know, it's a uh, psychological thing. They see blood, so you see the map? Oh, not like that. We'll do it together. Listen up. Please come to the map. Let's take a look. Label the map below. Minster Park. Now, this map is related to the same conversation. Uh, can you see on the top right corner, north? So, it's a good idea to write a big N in the middle somewhere. Can you see west gate? East gate? South gate? Is that clear? Now, these are the uh, important monuments which will help you find. And in the middle, we've got Lily, pa uh, Lily Pond. So, Lily Pond will also help you. Westgate and there is a river. Now, only these are the landmarks we have here. Now, we will focus these landmarks. If they say anything near the river, for example, towards the north side near the river, it can be A, B or C. Right? Near the river if they say. Now, if they say anything on the west gate in the southwest corner, G. If they say anything uh, in the northwest corner towards the river, A. Very good. If they say anything very close to east gate, if you enter from east gate, it's on the left, F. When they say anything lily pond and towards the north of lily pond, E. If they say anything towards the west of Lily Pond, it's D. And if they say from South Gate, if you turn right at the bend on the left, you will find it I. I, I, I. And again, I tell you, you're right and they're right, they are same. Okay, it's not that map either. You're right and they're right is exactly the same. Now, whenever they give you the map, don't read these meaningless questions from 15 to 20. You will not be able to understand anything. Focus the map. If they've given east, west, north, south, make it big. For example, for north, they have only written N. So you can write north somewhere in the middle so that you are clear, right? Now, question number 15, statue of... <laughs> They have the statue of that Dan as well there, okay, so that they could scare the children. Statue of Diane Gosforth. Now, we got to see where is the statue. And listen, what can be the traps here? They may say, first, the statue used to be. Used to be means past. Whenever they say anything about the map used to be, then it moved from there. It was shifted from there. So whatever they say before that, that would be a trap. Clear? Now, I play the audio and you will find the answer of question number 15. Okay, let me tell you about some of the changes that have been made and some things that have been retained. 
If you look at this map, you'll see the familiar outline of the park, with the river forming the northern boundary, and a gate in each of the other three walls. The statue of Diane Gosforth has been moved. It used to be close to the south gate, but it's now immediately to the north of the lily pond, almost in the centre of the park, which makes it much more visible. No, D. Sure? Well done. North of the lily pond, almost in the middle of the park. And then they said it used to be. It moved from there. So the right answer is E for elephant. Very good. Next is wooden sculptures. Now we have to see where are the wooden sculptures. Let's see. There's a new area of wooden sculptures, which are on the riverbank where the path from the east gate makes a sharp bend. Well done. You're trained, huh? Good. See, first you went to the river and then east gate and bend. There is only C. Clear? Good. Very good. Next is playground. There are two areas that are particularly intended for children. The playground has been enlarged and improved. And that's between the river and the path that leads from the pond to the river. Exactly, river and the path that leads to the pond from the river. So that is only B, right? Good. Next is maze. It's not the maze, Kursi maze. It's the other maze, right? So let's see where the maze is. Then there's a new maze, a circular series of paths separated by low hedges. That's near the west gate. You go north from there towards the river and then turn left to reach it. Good. West gate to the river, turn left. Exactly A. All right? Good job. Now, question number 19, tennis court. Let's see where the tennis court is. There have been tennis courts in the park for many years and they've been doubled from four to eight. They're still in the southwest corner of the park, where there's a right angle bend in the path. Southwest corner, where there is a wide angle bend. So, southwest corner and bend, it's only G. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Last, yeah, fitness area. Now, let's see where this fitness area is. Uh, something else I'd like to mention is the new fitness area. This is right next to the lily pond on the same side as the west gate. Lily pond on the same side as the west gate, so it is D. Now, it doesn't mean this map is easy. It means you followed it and you know where to go and all that. So, whenever you get the map, you must focus the map itself. Don't read the questions. Don't waste your time on the questions. And if they have given the directions, make them very, very clear. Underline them, encircle them, and follow the directions and all that. Okay.